Hi, I am Diego Zamboni, and today I'm going to tell you about Hammerspoon and how to get started with it. First of all, what is Hammerspoon? Hammerspoon is a powerful automation tool for macOS, which allows you to automate all sorts of things from graphical user interface operations, such as, for example, resizing and moving windows. It also allows you to automate uh, network actions, system actions. It allows you to redirect handling of URLs to different applications and many, many other things. At its core, Hammerspoon is a very thin layer uh, which allows you to interact with a macOS system using Lua code. So it's very easy to write scripts for Hammerspoon. So let's get started. First of all, you can download Hammerspoon from its webpage at hammerspoon.org. You can also install it using Homebrew if you use the Homebrew package manager. So once you have downloaded Hammerspoon, you can install it to your applications folder and after that you can run it. Once you have Hammerspoon installed, the first time you run it, you will see a message saying that you don't have a config file. If you click that message, it will take you straight to the Getting Started with Hammerspoon guide on the website, where you can go through some of the initial configuration. Let's do that right now, and we'll see how to get started with a very simple configuration file for Hammerspoon. You see here the Hammerspoon icon, which allows you to do a few basic operations such as showing and hiding the Hammerspoon console where you can see messages about what's going on. But now, now let's get started with creating a configuration file for Hammerspoon. Hammerspoon uses within your uh, home directory the .hammerspoon uh, directory to store its configuration file. By default, it's empty other than a default spoons directory, which is also empty and which contains uh, ready-to-made modules, which we will look at later. Let's create a very basic initial configuration file. And for that, we are going to create within the Hammerspoon directory, a file called init.lua. Lua is the language that Hammerspoon uses for its configuration. So let's create something very simple. Hammerspoon includes a module called Hotkey, which allows us to bind arbitrary key combinations to arbitrary actions. So in this case, we are going to tell it that we want to bind the control, command, and alt keys, plus the letter H, to a function that will simply give us a, a, a very simple message. So here you can see a few function calls that start with HS, which are part of the Hammerspoon standard library. HS hotkey allows us to uh, bind the hotkey definitions. HS Notify allows us to produce um, notifications on the screen. So we are going to save this file and then tell Hammerspoon to reload its configuration. Once it does that, it's happened already. And what we did here is we bound this key combination, Control Command Alt H, to this function that will show us a notification. Let's try that right now. I will press the key and you can see here the notification that we defined as part of the configuration file. This is how easy it is to create uh, automation with Hammerspoon. For now, I just want to show you two final pieces of configuration, which can be useful as you play with uh, Hammerspoon. First, we saw before that you can 
see the console here from the menu bar item of Hammer's Point, but that might be useful uh, to automate in some way. So we'll also add here hs.hotkey bind, and we are going to bind the same modifiers, but with the letter Y to a function called HS Ogle console. Here, I don't have to define my own function because this is something that already comes with Hammerspoon. And I'm going to create, while we are at it, another key combination for restarting Hammerspoon because this is something that we will be doing quite often as we develop Hammerspoon configurations. Control, Command, Alt, and now the letter R for HS reload. So we save this file, and now for the last time, we have to do the reload here from the menu bar. And now I can press my new key combination to show the console and also to hide it. And also to reload it. The reload is an invisible operation unless we add maybe here at the end of our configuration file our spoon started as a notification. This will just allow us to see when hammer spoon restarts. So I'm going to press the key again and you see here this is a notification that gets generated at the end of the configuration file. Let me just do one more simplification here. We saw that this key combination is something that we've been using quite a lot. So why don't we just define it as a variable here at the top of our configuration file. And then we can simply use this variable in our key definitions. And that will just make everything easier by calling that key that combination of modifiers hyper instead of having to spell them out every time. Let's reload. We see that it started again and our key combinations are still working. We can show and hide the console. I hope this uh, brief video has given you an idea of the kind of things that you can do with Hammerspoon. We are going to be looking at more uh, advanced use cases over the next few videos. In the meantime, if you want to learn more, Please check out my book, Learning Hammerspoon, available on Limpub, and also my website, zzamboni.org, where you can read articles uh, and uh, find information about my other books and a lot more that I write about technology, automation, security, and other topics that I hope you will find of interest. Thank you very much for your attention and see you next time.